What is up guys, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm here to review the brand new release Raw 100, the top 100 moments in Raw history DVD. As we all know, this came out today, but I was lucky enough to get this on Friday at Kmart. As we all know, Kmart was putting these DVDs out early for whatever reason. Uh, I don't care why, but better it does, so I'm not complaining. And uh, I was able to watch this, like I said, and I'm um, going to get into this so I can review it. Alright, as you can tell by the cover of the DVD, whoa, whoa, okay, alright. <laughs> it's pretty generic. Uh, nothing special. Just says Raw. <laughs> New logo. 100. Top 100 moments in Raw history. 3 to set. Um, it's actually really cool because it's like a pop out. And like it feels cool. <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe this kind of cover. You know, I don't know the right words for it. But it's a DVD you have to buy to really, you know, understand what I'm saying. But it feels right, real nice. It's a, it's a cover slip onto it. Uh, look at Look, look how shiny that is. That's that's badass. Uh, WWE Home Video, Raw 100, the top 100 moments in Raw history. Three to set. Back here, I uh, got some photos. Good old Triple H as Vince. Mankind winning the uh, WWE Championship. Kane unmasking. Cena going to Raw. Rock's return. Uh, Flair. Woo! His retirement. And the good old pipe bomb that Mr. Punk produced. And the suite right here. Since 1993, Monday Night Raw has delivered nonstop thrills, action, and controversy to the WWE Universe. Uh, now, after hitting a thousand episodes, WWE counts down the definitive 100 moments in the longest running weekly episodic program in television history. Uh, fans of all eras can enjoy this most memorable uh, exploits of all their favorite WWE heroes. And as he. There's some uh, moments here, as you can tell. From the shocking, CM Punk drops a pipe bomb. The new Raw GM, Eric Bischoff. Cena drops a number one. To the emotional, Bret Hitman Hart returns. Shawn Michaels loses his smile. Uh, Edge retirement ceremony. To the hilarious, Mr. McMahon in the bedpan. Uh, the Rock concert, DX impersonates the nation. To the utterly, utterly, bleh, utterly sorry, outrageous, tea time with Santino. Uh, Mae Young gets powerbombed. Stephanie's wedding in Vegas. And there's some more writing right here. And so much more. Plus, own the, the entire three-hour Raw 1000 episode that marked history and launched a new era in WWE. This collection also includes exclusive, never-before-seen backstage footage of the WWE superstars, divas, and returning legends on this making of this momental celebration. You probably can't really see that very well. But follow them on Twitter. Like them on Facebook. Follow them on Tout. Remember that. Alright, gotta take this car slip off. Fuck. Look at the down from it. I don't know why, but this cover slip's like pretty hard to get off for whatever reason. I'll never know. Alrighty. As you see, this is a DVD cover. Yeah. That's why I had a slip on because there's no cover on it. Um, inside, same thing here. You're probably wondering why the hell I did this. Well, these are all the moments I contain on the DVD. There's 25 pictures on each thing, so add to 100 moments. So I'll scan through each one. You guys can pretty much guess what they are. Or you can try and guess what they are because some of them aren't really clear. That was a front. Here's the back of the DVD. Like that one's not pretty clear. You don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Punt the baby. It was May Austin. Go to the inside. The croc. By the way, Rock, you're still welcome after that concert. How dare you diss Sacramento? You're not, he's not allowed back. That's why I haven't come back yet. In case you haven't noticed. I won't let him come back. He tried coming back. I'm like, nope. You gotta stay over there, buddy. You're not allowed back. You diss my hometown. You never come back again. Unless you apologize. That's why he's never come back. Alright. So that was all the photos. To open it up. You know, some nice disc artwork right here. Uh, disc 1, disc 2, and disc 3, which contains the entire 1,000th episode of Raw. Behind each disc, you have the R from the old school logo. 
behind this too, you have the A from the uh, Raw's War logo. And behind this three, you have the logo from the Raw logo from 2006 to 2009. Come on. Alright, there we go. And here is the listings. Disc 1 contains moments 100 to 51. Disc 2 contains moments 50 to 1. And Disc 3 contains the entire 1000th episode of Raw. Uh, you guys can pretty much read what it contains. I don't need to sit here and read it all to you guys. You guys can read. I was wrong, by the way. Brett wasn't even the ref for that match. He was just a special guest ring announcer. And yeah, that's it. Uh, this DVD overall, it was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you all the moments, because I'm not going to sit here and list 100 moments that happened raw. That'd be kind of stupid, but uh, this, the moments, they went by pretty quick. They really didn't talk a lot about each moment. Uh, disc 1 was only hour and 40 minutes. This 2 was only hour and 48 minutes. So it wasn't, they briefly talked about each moment. Uh, there were some moments where they literally spent like 45 seconds talking about. Like, number 2, the number 2 moment really... They didn't talk about that much, and it was a pretty big moment too. So I don't understand why they didn't really talk about it. But uh, each moment, I'd say, got somewhere between a minute to two minutes for disc one. Disc two, they really started going more in the depth each uh, moment. They probably spent around, I'd say, a minute to half, well, minimum minute and a half to maybe three minutes tops. You know, so for like I said, the second moment only got around like forty-five seconds, which makes no sense to me, in my opinion. But uh. It, it was really, like, well-paced. It honestly went by pretty quick. I remember watching it when we finished it. When I finished it on Skype with, uh, watches my buddy Luke. Um, we're, when it finished, we are like, I, that's it? <laughs> like, it, now it went by really quick. You honestly, if you wanted to, you could probably watch this in one sitting. Which I wouldn't do, because it'd be, like, over three hours. Like, uh, I'd say around, almost three and a half hours in one sitting. But, uh, it went by quick. Uh... Most of the interviews on here were archive footage, which I didn't like. They took footage from, like, other DVDs. Like, if Randy Orton was talking about a moment, they took an interview from his DVD about that moment. You know, uh, uh, same with Brock Lesnar. They took his interview from his newest DVD on his moment. Uh, Sean, they, put, they took interviews from his uh, Heartbreaking Triumph and My Journey DVD. So I was kind of like, okay, that was weird. Uh, Rock, Austin, they took, you know, archive footage from their recent DVDs. So it's kind of disappointing. It didn't seem like they really tried. And a majority of the moments were, uh, uh, you can tell they're a film when they're doing the whole moments leading up to the 1,000th Raw when people are talking about their favorite moments, like, you know, Jerry Lawler, uh, Stephanie McMahon, uh, Mick Foley. You can definitely tell those were, uh, interviews they're doing when they're doing the, uh, their favorite Raw moments. So those weren't anything new. But we did see some new interviews from the likes of, uh, Billy Gunn, X-Pac, Road Dog, uh, Chris Jericho had a new interview on there. Uh, Vince Russo was on there. Triple H had a new interview on there. Uh, there, so there's a few new interviews. The one thing I didn't like was uh, they had some random people talk about random moments. Like they would have Kofi, uh, Matt Stryker, and Josh Matthews talking about moments that they had nothing to do with. So I was like, uh, uh, Wade Barrett was in there, which I can listen to Barrett for days. He's he's awesome. I don't care what anyone says. Just don't care. But uh, it was it was like I said, it was like really just went by real quick, it was really smooth to sit through and uh, watch, uh, interviews were pretty much things that you've probably already heard before, it might be coming from a different person, but it was kind of, you know, like, well, I kind of knew that, or you kind of, like, knew how they probably felt about it, but if I had to choose two people that were the best in the interviews, it'd probably be Triple H, and you're probably going to be surprised with this, by and Vince Russo, um, they probably were the best in the interviews here, they didn't come into the DVD until the second disc, so you didn't see him until this too. But when they were talking, it just, they seemed like the most relaxed, the more like into it. They, they felt the more like emotional invested into the moment. So their interviews, I'd say, were definitely the best out of everyone on here. But uh, this DVD, there's not really much to talk about because, like I said, the interviews are pretty short. They only interviewed one person for each thing. Well, actually, no, I, I kind of lied. Um, uh, Nexus Invasion, they had David Otunga and Cena talk. So, yeah, David Otunga, I don't know why they chose him of all people. He's probably the worst member of Nexus, so I don't know why they interviewed him for that moment. They had Barrett on DVD. They could easily have Barrett talk about it, considering he was a leader, but I don't know. Moments, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and list them. You guys can look them up if you want, or just wait till the DVD to see what they are. But uh, they did have bonus 
uh, moments or honorable mentions, I should say. They had about five, maybe five to seven. I'm not sure how many exact they had, but uh, there were some good moments. Or there were like a moment I didn't like. Well, there was two of them. I was questioning why they were even on there, but his DVD was it was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, they had some celebrities. You can easily tell archive footage like Seth Green and uh, Shaquille O'Neal. You can definitely tell those interviews were like right after the Raw ended because they were wearing the same clothes they were wearing on Raw. <laughs> so I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, interviews were great. Uh, well, not great, but you know when you know Austin, not Austin, but when Punk talked, uh, his interview was really brief, but it was great to hear him talk about it. <laughs> the pipe bomb that was awesome, but. Overall, DVD is great. Uh, honestly, it's really hard to kind of describe this kind of DVD because this is one of the DVDs you honestly have to watch in order to, you know, to really get it because I can't really put in the words. All I really did was interview people. And I'm not going to sit here and describe each interview everyone did. Well, that's kind of hard to do, but it's the DVD you kind of have to watch to understand what I'm saying. But I definitely recommend it. Definitely a really fun DVD to sit through. Brings back memories, seeing awesome moments. It was just great. All TV footage. When you get a DVD that shows nothing but TV footage, you must own in my opinion. I don't care what it is. Raw, SmackDown, ECW. Um, I'm talking about like the ECW TV, of course. NXT main event. I don't care. If it's TV footage, buy it. Doesn't matter what's on it. I don't care. Just buy it. But uh, this is just dragging on now. This should have ended like three minutes ago. But uh, great DVD. Definitely must buy in my opinion. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I'm out, guys. Uh, this will be the last 3 to set DVD review of the year, I believe. Next 3 to set won't be till the, uh, well, I'm getting at least, the Best of Raw on SmackDown 2012. I'm looking forward to that very much. Just because it's TV footage. you got to own that stuff. It's the best stuff to own, in my opinion. But like I said, this is dragging on way too long. It should have ended 3 or 4 minutes ago. But uh, I'm out, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, later, skaters, I'll be back this weekend for TLC.